Hello again, boys and girls. We're going to do math now. We're continuing with subtraction. And what does subtraction mean? That means we're taking some away from a larger set to form a smaller set. We want to find out the difference. How much is left from that large set after we took some away? Do you remember which number goes first? Right, the larger number. And we call that the minuend. We use the magic minus sign to take some away. The amount we take away is called, called our subtrahend. And what we're left with is the difference. So today, we're going to practice subtraction action using the number line. So you should have your number line, your dry erase marker, and your writing strip that you can write any erase on. So we'll do some practice together, then you'll practice on your own, okay? And you also need your little manipulative or a little character that you can slide on the number line. So I'll write the first sentence and you will copy it. We're going to write 6 minus 2 equals. Now, just like when we did addition, we start on that first number. So we're going to start on the 6. Now this is where it's different than addition because when you subtract, you go back. Easy to remember because they sound alike. So we're going to subtract and go back. Okay, six. We're on six. We're starting with six. Actually, let me get some manipulatives to show you how they correspond to each other. I'll be right back. Okay. So that you can see if they mean the same thing, you're learning how to do it in a different way. So again, I need to start with 6. I have 6 manipulatives. I'm on the number 6. I'm going to subtract and go back. Subtract, we're going to take away 2. So we're not going to go forward on the number line. Subtract, go back toward 0. So you're going to take two hops back. You don't count the one you're on. One, two. One, two. Where did we land? We landed on the four. So four should be our difference. Let's check with the manipulatives. You might do this with your abacus and the number line so you can see how they work the same way. Okay, so I'm going to take two away. Are we left with four? One, two, three, four. We are. So four is our difference. Six minus two equals four. Okay, good job. Let's erase. I gotta get my eraser. Okay, erase your board. You can write on your sentence strip as well, your number line. Let's do another. Are you ready to write? Okay, this time we're going to do 8 minus 3 equals. Okay, write that. We're going to put our character on 8. Sweeney's going to get 8 manipulatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight. Eight manipulatives. We start on number eight. Take away minus three. Subtract, go back. Going that way. Back where the numbers get lower. Because we're taking away. We're making less. We're going to go three steps back. One, two, three. We landed on five. Now let's take away three manipulatives to see if there are five left. The five will be our difference. One, two, three. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Checks out. So eight minus three equals five. We took our three steps back, landed on five. We took three manipulatives away and have five. Okay, clear your board, I'll clear mine. Okay, this time we're going to write 10 minus 
6 equals, okay, where will we start? We're going to start on 10. Bring your manipulative to the end. I'm going to put up 10. You know what? I'm going to get a 10 frame. Hold on. Let's do that one too. It will help you see the amounts better. Okay. 10. So my 10 frame, do I need to count to fill that 10 frame? No, because we know a fill 10 frame is 10. Okay, we have 10. Our action figure, our manipulative is on 10. We need to take away 6. We're going to subtract, go, that's right, back. Back 6 steps. Ready? 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. We landed on number four. Let's see if four is our difference after we take six away. Is it four? That's right. So, ten minus six equals four is our difference. There are four left. Good job. Okay. Erase your board, I'll erase mine. Okay, let's write the next one. Seven. Take away two equals. Okay, you're writing it on your board. I'll fill my ten frames so you can see. We need to start with seven, so if you're using manipulatives too, or your abacus, so get seven over. Okay, we have five, six, seven. We want to take away minus two. So we're on seven. Subtract, go back. Back two steps. One, two. We landed on five. I'm going to take two away. Our ten frame has five. So seven minus two equals five. Job. Okay, erase your board. Okay, our next number sentence will be nine take away four equals. So I need to put nine in my ten frame. I need to start on 9 on the number line, and we're going to subtract, go back. Good. We're going to go back 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Where are we? We landed on 5. Let's see if 5 is our difference now when I take 4 out of the 10 frame. Is it? Yes. So, 9 minus 4 is 5. Okay, let's do another one. Erase your board. Okay, this time we're going to do four, take away four equals. Do you remember what I told you about this type of number sentence with a minus sign? If the numbers are the same and there's a minus sign in between, let's see what we're left with. What's the difference? Okay, we're going to start on 4. We're going to go back 4. Subtract 4. Subtract, go back. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4. Where are we? <gasps> 0. Let's see what happens. 4 minus 4. So 4, I have 4. I'm going to take away 4. And we are at 0. So, in subtraction action, when you have that minus sign between two numbers that are the same, it will always be zero because you're taking it all away. And you can see that's true on the number line, too. You land it on zero. Okay, let's do another. Erase your board. And this time we're going to do 
7 minus 0 equals, all right, let me put 10, 7 in our time frame. Okay, we have 7 here. We need to put our figure on 7. We're on 7. We're going to go back 0. Ready? Oh, wait. 0. We don't have to take any steps at all. We're already where we need to be, right? 7 minus 0. So I'm going to subtract, go back. I'm still going back 0, nothing. Am I taking any out? Not at all. So how many do we have? We still have 7. We did nothing different, right? So that is another subtraction action, no brainer. Because we took nothing away, we're still left with 7. Okay, erase your board. Let's do another. Okay. We're going to do 9 minus... 3 equals, I can write that, okay, we're going to put our figure on 9 on the number line, we have 9 in our 10 frame, 9 minus 3, subtract, go back, we need to go back 3 steps, ready, 1, 2, 3, we landed on the 6, Let's see if our difference is 6 when I take 3 out of the 10 frame. Do we have 6? 5, 6. Okay. So our difference is 6 on the number line and when we take away from our 10 frame. 5, 6, 9 minus 3 equals 6. Okay, erase your board. Okay, let's do this one. Zero. Take away. Four. Equals. Okay, ready? Zero. I'm going to put zero in my 10 frame. I'm going to start on zero. I'm going to take away four. Wait, I can't go back anymore. Right, because, Miss Sweeney, if you have zero, how can you possibly take away any, let alone four, right? Right. We can't do that one because the higher number has to go first. Let's switch those and see if we can do it. Let's try this. Four as our minuend. Take away zero as our subtrend. Will that work? Four, take away zero, it's still four. Okay, do you understand why you cannot have a lower number first? Right, you can't take away something that you don't have. Okay. Erase your board. We'll do a couple more before you practice on your own. Okay, let's do 5 minus 1 equals. Okay, I have 5 in my 10 frame for that starting set. 5 on my number line. We're going to subtract and go back. 5 minus 1. Subtract, go back 1. Okay, so it's one behind. Good, and we landed on four. If I take one out of my 10 frame, I still have four. So our difference, five minus one equals four, going back one on the number line, and four after I took one away in our 10 frame. Okay, erase your board. I'll do a couple more. And then you'll practice on your own. Let's try six, take away 
five. Put six in our ten frame. Okay, six in our ten frame, six on the number line. We're going to subtract, go back. Six minus five. So we're going to go back five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. We're on number one. Let's see what happens when I take five out. Our difference is then one. Five, six minus five only leaves us one left and one on the number line. Okay, that's a couple more like that. Tell me if you see a pattern. Let's do <clears throat> 8 minus 7 equals. Okay, I'll put our character on 8 because that's where we need to start. I'll put 8 in our 10 frame. Okay, so we have 8 in our 10 frame, 8 on the number line. We need to subtract, go back. We're going to take away 7. So we're going back 7. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We landed on number 1 again. Now watch, I'm going to take away 7. Tell me, tell me how many are left. What's the difference? Right, it's 1 again. So if you notice, when you do a subtraction action sentence, and these are numbers that on the number line are right next to each other, the answer is going to always land you at 1. Because there's only one difference in the number line. Watch. Let's do another one. Let's do 4. There's 4. Take away 3. There's three. See their position on the number line are right next to each other going that way. Equals let's put four. These are just little things to help you remember how to find differences. Okay, so we're going to start on four. We have four in our ten frame. Minus three. So that means subtract, go back three. One, two, three. We landed on one again. I'm going to take away 3, and we only have 1 left, making our difference of 4 minus 3 equals 1. So because those numbers are together on the number line, next to each other, you'll always have 1 left. Let's do another one so you can better understand it. Let's do 10 minus 9. So I'm going to put 10 in the 10 frame, fill it up, I'm going to put my character on 10 on the number line, we need to minus 9 on the number line, that means subtract, go back 9 steps, we're going to take 9 long steps back, ready, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and there we are at one again. Now I'm going to take nine out of the set of ten on the ten frame. How many is left? Just one. So ten minus nine equals one. So look up here. They're next to each other on the number line. Going back, you land on one. Want to do one more like that? Let's do, which one did we not do yet? Let's do three. Three. Now going back, what number is next to three? Two. So we're going to do three, take away two, and see if we land on one. Three, take away two equals. I'm going to put three in my ten frame. I'm going to put my character on 3. 3 minus 2. 
Subtract, go back. Go back, two. One, two. I'm going to take away two. One, two. They both equal one. So our difference for three minus two equals one. Okay, so today, for your practice, you will need your number line, just like you use with me. Hopefully you're doing it with me when I ask you to. Okay, but you can also do it like I did. You can use the 10 frame with manipulatives if you want, or you can use your abacus, whichever's easier, so that you can see that they both mean the same things. Just two different ways of finding differences. So for today, you can do this one first. This is your checkpoint. Okay, this, you, you can just X out the pictures. You don't need to use the abacus or the number line unless you want to, okay? I know you, you all know how to do this very well by now, right? Okay, then you're going to do two pages that actually have a number line on it, but if you want to do it on your number line where you can write if you want and move the character, you can. Or you can do it using the number line on the paper. Whichever works best for you. Okay? Alright, I'll see you in a little while for religion and then we're going to have a nice big science lesson. Okay? Do a good job. Take your time. Practice writing your numbers. Go slow. It's important that you understand. Okay? It's not all about getting the work done. It's important about understanding it. And if you have any trouble, mom or dad can send me an email and I'll figure out another way to help you. Okay? I'll see you in a little while for religion.